Hi guys, I want to explain how I do my high frequency words or heart words or whatever you're calling them. Um, I have this handy dandy chart that I made. It has a turtle, a bunny, and a cheetah. And um, this is kind of how I've adapted it um, to meet the needs of my kids and also to meet the needs of science of reading. So let me show you what I do. Okay, so the first thing I did was when I went to the adult word list, like the high frequency word list, and took out all of the ones that follow a pattern. So like in the beginning of the year, we had the short A sound. So I took out words like and and has and am and and. All of those decodable words, I have a list of those on my Teachers Pay Teachers for free. It's not perfect, but it works. Um, so I take all of those out because we're gonna teach those directly because they follow a pattern. So the ones that are left are really the um, ones that have some kind of irregularity that we kind of have to go over. The next thing I do is I pick the words that my reading unit wants me to teach. So I pull all of those out. Then I go to <laughs> the Uncovering the Logic of English, um, and they have like the 20 or 50 words that are most commonly used. So I sprinkle those in because those are super important for reading, and then I get started. So when I'm introducing a word, um, we just go over the tricky part. And if it has a secret story in it, like this one had A-W making that ah oh, sound, that, and it has a secret story. So I look for any tricky part, we, we put the heart word over it, we put the heart over it, we talk about it, if there's a secret story, I teach them the secret story. If there's a rule, I teach them the rule. Um, like the why, that's a secret story too. See, secret stories really help with your sight words. Um, okay, so let's say I wanna teach them this word, for, I would say, let's listen to this word, for, f, or. How many sounds do you hear? They hear two. So we know the F is fine. But the OR is the irregular part or the part that they don't know yet. So we put a heart over it and then I say, oh, I spy with my little eye a secret because this one is OR is a secret story. So that's kind of how I introduce them. And then if they get faster at them, they move to the bunny pile. And if they get faster at them, like 80% of my kids know them, they move to the cheetah pile. And after the cheetah pile, they get retired. And I just keep going through them. Um, we play a couple games. Maybe in my next post, I'll show you some games that I do with the words so that we're constantly practicing them. So we map them. We put the heart word um, heart over them. We talk about the irregular part. We talk about any secret stories there might be. But we also practice them so we can get to that automaticity. So that's what we do.